Hello everyone! Welcome back to CBCP News Conversations. I'm Christine Pagirigan, your host. And I have two very, very awesome surprises for you. First is, nakikita nyo na ngayon sa screen, I have a co-host. Magpapakilala siya sa inyo. Hi! So yun, yeah, ako si Nico Balbidina, also of CBCP News. And ako yung bago niyo mga kasama dito sa CBCP News Conversations. Na minsan magiging co-host ni Ma'am Chrissy. Pero minsan ako lang din. Yeah, it's all of light chat <laughs> time. So this is gonna be fun. So nag innovate tayo. And speaking of innovation, yung second surprise ko, grabe, maximum level to. Because we are gonna have a digital interview with one of the most awesome people that you will ever meet. So papakilala natin siya, si Tito Joe. Pero ang buong pangalan niya ay Ho- jo- Jose, Jose Tale. He is now the CFC Vatican Relations Head. He is also the CFC Europe Regional Mission Center Coordinator at Wait There's More. He is also the CBCP News Vatican Bureau Chief or siya yung magka-head ng bureau natin sa Vatican. So, hello, Tito Joe! Hi, Tito Joe! And... Hello! Hello po! You can... Uh, yan po, pwede po kayong mag, um, mag-greet muna sa ating mga viewers. Kamusta po dyan sa Vatican? Oh, it's a, it's a nice day here. Uh... Uh, it's still part of summer, so kanya maganda pa yung panahon, and uh, you can see many tourists uh, na, 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 na mobibisita din dito sa, sa Vatican, sa St. Peter's Square, and uh, other sites to see. That's very nice to hear. Yeah. Ang ganda sa CBCP News Conversations ngay- ngayon, no? so hindi tayo magpapatalo sa layo. So, mag-connect at makakonect talaga tayo ng internet dahil dyan simula na natin. Yeah, sige, so go, let's go, get go, right on it. Yan. Uh, Tito! Uh, Nico Balbidina po, ano? Uh, ano yung significance ng pagkakaroon natin ng CFC office dyan sa Rome? Lalo yeah. na na kayo nung muna, magkaroon tayo ng CFC Europe uh, Regional Mission, yung Relations Office. Anong significance po nun? Well, uh, itong ating office dito, uh, for hmm. CFC particularly, uh, is a very strategic uh, move ng CFC kasi siyempre lumapit tayo dito sa the center of our faith right now. Yes. No? Um, as you know, the, the leaders of our faith, starting from Pope Francis, ay nandito. That's so very hopefully, nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, with, yeah, with this kind of uh, uh, location, mm-hmm. uh, mas, mas uh, malapit tayo, mas ma- marinig natin, uh, you know, ahead of time maybe, yung mga developments sa ating uh, simbahan, yung direction. Yes, po. Uh, mm-hmm. so, uh, ay sa sinasadya sa atin, yes. sa atin, sa buong mundo. Pero, Tito Joe, so, bago lang po kayo, right, na na-assign, mga gano'n okay, katagal? Uh, yeah, not just a, uh, not even two weeks here. Fresh na fresh! Sobrang fresh pa! Fresh na fresh. Yes, Actually, po. Itong office na ito, ay uh, naumpisa natin two years ago. Mm-hmm. So, CFC uh, was able to be blessed with this office two years ago, and uh, we think, actually, yung, uh, yung Vatican, uh, particularly yung kanang in charge ng uh, mga properties, mm-hmm. na tayo nabigyan itong uh, space, space yes. for, for our office yet. Yeah. Couples for Christ is really blessed to have an extension, no? So, meron tayong um, major na nagko-connect from the bahay ng simbahan talaga dyan sa Rome to here Dito sa Pilipinas. Yes. So, Tito, uh, yes. nabanggit na rin lang ho natin no, yung Vatican. Uh, as the Vatican Relations Head, ano po bang ginagawa ninyo? Mm-hmm. Well, ang, uh, ang ipapagawa sa akin, <laughs> okay, mag-umpisa, Gagawin mag-umpisa pa lang. Mag-umpisa pa lang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, one is to strengthen our relations with uh, our leaders, the leaders of our faith here, lalo na, yung sinasabing dicastery or uh, the department in the Vatican that deals with us and particularly yung dicastery for the laity, mm-hmm. for family and life. Yung po yung main uh, office dito sa Vatican na uh, kailangan we, we relate with uh, in, a, in a good way. Uh, mm-hmm. So it's a, as you know, Caucus for Crisis of Family Renewal yes, Movement. Ma'am. And so yung po yung ating focus. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, meron, just to add, uh, meron ding aspect ng Couples for Christ, yung ating work with the poor, yung ating yes. social development programs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, from that point of view, we will also relate with and keep in touch with the another dicastery, mm-hmm. ang tawag a dicastery on integral human development. Oh. So, mga uh, issues like uh, the poor, work with the poor, migrants, Uh, Maganon, mm-hmm. uh, we also need to really work with them closely. 
So, yeah. it sounds exciting, no? Pero at the same time, it's a big responsibility. So, dual communication po yung magiging role nyo. Kailangan laging kausap yun sa Pilipinas and laging kausap yun sa Vatican. Sa Vatican. Kaya rin ang ano, tatao. O oh, yes, oh, yes. Uh, talagang oh, nadagdagan lang yung pressure ngayon. Narinig ko kayo. <laughs> <laughs> But really, yes. I, I find this uh, an extraordinary opportunity. Yes. That's good. Uh, pagiging... Uh, Uh, somehow, makatulong kami, meron ma- ma- kami magawa to, to bridge the gap, so-called, no? uh, so that uh, whatever are the pronouncements from the center will be able to be relayed uh, to all of us uh, anywhere in the world, particularly dyan sa Pilipinas. Also, no, no, Tito, we also heard na kayo din yung coordinator ngayon ng Mission Regional Center dyan sa Europe. Europe. Mm-hmm. What's yes, the difference? Uh, that's, that's, ano po pinagkaiba ng sa workload nung pagiging uh, head ninyo sa Vatican Relations tsaka yun dyan sa Europe, Europe Regional Mission? Well, uh, as you probably know, uh, Couples for Christ has been blessed to be present in, in uh, more than 100 countries, 128, yes, I think that's the latest count. And uh, a good part of that 128 are the countries in Europe. No? So, uh, itong Regional Mission Center dito will also serve as the, uh, the to bring CFC closer mm-hmm. to our membership here in Europe and and so wala namang um, parang wala namang uh, pagkakaiba talaga in, uh, in in a way in the way we conduct things in, in CFC uh, and so we we bring the CFC center na nandiyan sa Manila mm-hmm. closer to our members here in the same way that we bring them closer also to Our, uh, our mission center in Manila by, by being located here in Europe, in Rome particularly. So basically, parang nagiging bridge si Tito Joe, no? Okay, so, yung nagiging lugar. middleman. Nung, yes, uh, that middleman. <laughs> that middleman. <laughs> so oh, that brings me to my next question, Tito. How did you decide? Paano po yung naging discernment process? Kasi mag-relocate kayo sa bagong lugar para magampanan yung trabaho na yan. So, Hindi yun basta-basta ang uuuhan mo lang eh, na trabaho eh. Talaga naman. Uh, well, uh, as uh, you know, serving in CFC all these years, uh, marami na kaming okasyon na nagpupunta ng mission uh, most everywhere in the world. Pero ito, ang nakakaiba dito is we will relocate. Yes, sir. Uh, hindi, hindi, lang, hindi lang kami nandito one weekend mm-hmm. or one week. But this is a two-year assignment. Wow. So, uh, even things like uh, the, the simple things, the practical things, uh, Magdadal din kami ng winter clothing dito kasi... Yes po, masasanay kami. Uh, sa so food po dyan dito. Mag-adjust po kayo uh, sa food. food. <laughs> o oh, yung food, uh, pero flexibility tayo kasi marami tayong mga kababayan dito. In a way na I think we will not run out of uh, occasions na uh, you know, magkakain ng Filipino food. Hindi mo awalan. Excitement siguro sa akin dito is lalong ma... Uh, ma-appreciate ang Italian food. Yes, no? po. And uh, uh, yung authentic, kumbaga. No? I mean, pizza, dito, mm-hmm. pasta, eh, dito talaga, kumbaga, nag-umpisa. Dito ang, you know. So, we have a chance to be able to taste that part yes. of, the, of our life here. No? So, uh-huh. marami po talagang mga para magiging adventure, no? Pero there are also gonna be challenges like yung language barrier and stuff. So, paano niyo po nabalansi yung pag-oo? na akakayanin ko lahat ng challenges in kung ano man yung dadating. Well, at, at the end of the day, uh, it will be the Lord who will guide us. So, yes. yun ang pinaghahawakan namin. Na uh, ano man yung challenges and uh, you, you cannot diminish the challenges are really huge. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, we submit it to the Lord and we we ask for his guidance uh, always, no? Uh, yung, yung language, for example, lang ngayon, nangangapa pa kami. Yes po, Asin, bago pa um, two weeks pa lang po eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, except for bonjour, no? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie, uh, marami pa kaming uh, pag-aaralan. Yes po. So, sino po kasama niyo, Tito Joe, na nag-relocate sa Vatican right now? Oh, of course, kasi couples for Christ. So, kasama ko ang wife ko. Partner in si life. Hindi ba yes. hindi? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, uh, ma- marami kaming kailangan pag-usapan mm-hmm. as a couple also here and uh, we are to make this our home in the next two years. So talagang kailangan may teamwork yung husband and wife aside from being couples for Christ. 
we also need to really work together in the um, the domestic part of our of our life together, no? So, you a role model talaga sila dito at si Tita. So, it makes, actually, ang saya ng mission na meron kang kasama, eh, no? <laughs> it makes you a role model. Yeah, yung bearable siya kasi dalawa kayo nagdadala. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> Tama. And um, really, that's what what that's who we are. We are couples for Christ. So, kailang kasama yun. And of course, we hope to, uh, one time also, during the two-year period, ma- makasama man lang ng aming family to also join us yes. here, kahit na for a brief moment. Yo, Vacation uh, to give us moral that. support. Yes. <laughs> that's gonna be fun for you. So, Tito, Nakita ko po yung passion and yung lalim ng service nyo and commitment with Couples for Christ. Pero at um, since nag-guess na rin naman po kayo sa pagiging head ng Vatican office dyan sa uh, for CFC, meron na rin mga additional na natanong sa inyong favors. So, we've heard na kayo rin po ang magiging chief ng CBCP News Bureau. Vatican Bureau. Uh, Vatican. So, how is that gonna work po on top of everything <laughs> na gagawin nyo pa? Yeah, well... Uh, talaga pong uh, ano din yan, something that is uh, a blessing uh, kahit na uh, we have uh, uh, not much of uh, uh, you know training as it were yes. uh, in, in that field but uh, hindi naman siguro nalalayo sa mga parana, parate namin ginagawa sa CFC mm-hmm. which is to, to, to speak uh, and converse with, uh, with people to, to, to be able to relay messages and then we will try our best and uh, hopefully naman we will uh, uh, justify yeah. ourselves being the chief of the CBCP News, News Vatican Bureau. Bureau. Yes. <laughs> the Vatican Bureau. Bureau, yeah. yeah. Um, ang ganda lang po, no, binagyo po talaga kayo ng gifts ni Lord ngayong face of your life. <laughs> so, I'm very good. excited for you. So, nakita ko po, na-mention niyo dito, Joe, na Yung pagkakaroon ng CFC office dyan, it's very strategic for the couples for guys in general. So yung yes. pagiging yeah. chief of the CBCP News Vatican Bureau, strategic din po siya, no? Dahil na-mention yun na ang sentro ng activities ng Catholic Church ay dyan sa Rome. sa Vatican. Yeah, dyan sa Vatican. Yes. That means, meron na kami first-hand informant ng lahat ng mangyayari. Oh yes, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's really true and that makes us... Uh, Umaga, also up, you know, always alert mm-hmm. for for these news, news, new things that that might come our way uh, with respect to our faith, and uh, you know, we have to to to, to be alert yes. mm-hmm. and to be up to date, and uh, hopefully share this uh, as soon as we can with with uh, with our Catholic lay faithful, particularly there in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. It looks naman dito, Joe, na comfortable siya, no? Oh, no? Conversing with people, sharing the good news. Parang walang bago, eh. Parang mm. naging buhay niyo na rin ho talaga yan from the beginning ng service niyo, <laughs> eh. No? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're happy to serve uh, the Lord this way at this uh, stage in our service in CFC at the stage at this stage in our life. Uh, mm. uh, paganda dito is... Uh, you know, you know, it's not just you, you know, that the Lord will always be with us and that gives us courage and uh, encouragement uh, at all time. So, did you know somewhere along the way po ba ng service nyo sa Couples for Christ or sa church, Catholic Church in general, na picture nyo yung sarili nyo na someday magpapunta kayo sa Rome? Na mabibigyan po kayo ng ganitong responsibilities? Naku, uh, we, we never expected this. We never uh, really uh, thought that uh, we would be here. I mean, uh, this was so far from our minds mm-hmm. before, lalo na uh, before uh, CFC put up the, the office here in, in Rome. Mm-hmm. Uh, this. Yes. You know. This is what you call technical difficulties. Mahirap po talaga pag live. So, magkukwentuhan muna kami ni Nico tungkol sa love life. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 we'll yun. wait for Tito Joe to come back. Yeah, na, ang ganda nung ano, yeah, no, sinabi niya. Ang ganda niya na yung mission talaga daw. Sometimes, expect the unexpected, mm-hmm. no? Tsaka, oh, yun nga, di ba, kahit yun na yung naging buhay niya na 
tangkay ka pag-usap siya sa mga okay, tao. Mission sa iba't ibang lugar. Doon din siya dinala sa Vatican. Tapos siya na yung naging eyes and ears natin doon. Na siya yung naging representative natin. Ng, hindi lang ng CBCP News. Pati ng mga Filipino people na gustong malama ko na yung nangyayari yeah, sa Vatican. Yeah. So parang nagkakaroon. Nagiging channel siya. Ayan yung tinatawag natin legit channel of God's grace. Mm, tama, tama. Pero ano mo, may isa ko, may isa ko napansin kay dito, Joey. For some, per, from someone, from a person na merong responsibility this massive, mm. sobrang light ng personality ni dito. Ayun siya. Ayun. Welcome back! Nakuha <laughs> natin ulit. Hi, dito, Joe. How are you? Yeah, hi. Yeah. <laughs> Medyo nawala ko tayo sa ganda. No? So, oh, where were we? Yan, kanino, ano, no, dito, pinag-uusapan mo natin yung kung in-expect nyo ba mm. sa umpisa po ng service ninyo na at some point darating kayo sa Vatican na kayo po yung magiging channel ng Filipino Church, yes. Filipino Catholic Church, dyan sa Vatican, sa seat of the Catholic Church mismo. Oh, it never crossed our mind before kasi nung sumali kami sa Couples for Christ uh, in 1986, uh, uh, all that we really uh, were hoping for uh, is to strengthen our our marriage and our family life together. Teka, na, sinko, in 1986, hindi pa ata kayo na panganap. Hindi pa po dito. Actually, sabihin ko, ako parang hindi pa ako naiisip ng parents. Kung serve na kayo sa Catholic Church, eh. Parang kakagraduate lang mo ng high school ng nanay ko noon, 1986. So, it's one of the models talaga of the church, of serving the church. Well, you can catch up. You can catch up. <laughs> I will pray to the Lord and ask Him to help me catch up po sa mga na-set niya na standards of mission. Tito, napag-usapan po namin kanina ni Nico while um, um, nagkukantuhan kami. Napansin po namin for someone na mayroong responsibility this massive. You are a very light, um, light-hearted and sobrang fun personality yung nakita namin sa inyo. You're a character na parang kaya-kaya yung mga pinag Sobrang relaxed nung ina-absorb yeah. niyo yung mga responsibility. Hindi ko po na feel sa inyo masyado yung pressure, although aware kayo of the responsibility given to you. How do you cope like that? Well, uh, in, in, as in everything... Uh... It's really uh, strengthening your relationship with the Lord uh, and in prayers um, and reading scriptures. I mean, uh, maybe that aspect in the Inakikita when uh, you, you go public, but in private, uh, we, we really try to be as faithful as we can in, in having really time with the Lord, having uh, time to read His words in, in the Bible. And that gives us the strength that we need. Uh, for the day and for the days to come, yeah. And that's good, Lopo. Amazing. So, Tito, moving towards the end of this interview, we want to ask you, since you are one of the most awesome model na pwede namin tignan, most na awesome pa, what so can bad. you say <laughs> to people na nagsiserve din sa Catholic, not, not necessarily or not limited to CFC lang, pero in general, to the Filipino people serving the church, who devote a part of their day, a part of their time, mm-hmm. na ibigay sa simbahan. Um, what can you say to them? How can you encourage them that this is a significant work? What you're doing is something important. Uh, yes, um, I, I hope that uh, every Catholic lay, uh, will realize that uh, we have a major role to play in the church. In fact, we are we are the church, no? Uh, and in terms of just, uh, the numerical part, uh, we are 99% uh, of the church, the lay. Uh, so we have the, we have the uh, distinct uh, responsibility uh, to be able to, to, to help out. And uh, uh, by, by, I mean, as we do that, we really look forward and look up to our clergy, our, our priests, our bishops, uh, our parents, our pope, to, to guide us along the way. Uh, but many of these things, uh, many of the things that uh, are needed today, kailangan magawa through the example of the lay. Yes. Uh, marami po tayong gaps dyan sa ngayon. Pero sana, uh, we can do our part yes. to live out, to live out the faith no? uh, in the day-to-day situation. Uh, so that's the, that's the challenge and I hope uh, we embrace it as a Okay, whatever organization we belong to, okay, kula organization, uh, pagtulukan po natin na uh, may pakita yung buhay kristyano, yes. ano dapat ang isang kristyano dito sa mundo nito. Mm. 
sa ating viewers na encourage naman ba kayo? Ang ganda-ganda na sinabi nito, Jono. We are the church. And na, na gusto ko parang we have the power in numbers. Kasi inang percent tayo ng Catholic Church, no? Ang uh, laki ng role na natin uh, bilang lay. And seeing how Tito Joe is doing right now, nakikita ko how powerful committing your life and strengthening your relationship with Christ can be. Mm, that's so, good. Yeah. Tapos ito pa, syempre of course, we have to remember na mention natin kanina. Tsaka ni Tito Joe, we have to be alert sa lahat ng nangyayari. So, sobrang looking forward ako dun sa magiging CBCP News Vatican Bureau. And I will be updating you guys kung kamusta si Tito Zoe sa pagiging regional coordinator at relations head sa Vatican. Hindi ito yung last time na may yes. makakausap natin si Tito Joe kasi siya nga yung ano natin sa Bureau. Update natin siya. Magkita natin mga sulat niya sa CBCP News. Yeah. So, wow. Tito Joe, any last messages to our viewers before we end this episode? Yes, um, well, it is, uh, uh, you know, I'd like to, to issue the call again for us to be to be faithful, no? mm-hmm. to be faithful to the Lord, to be faithful to the Lord in the way we do things every day. Hindi lamang sa isang parte ng buhay natin, hindi buong buhay natin naka-offer kay Lord and we go about our day uh, with His guidance. Yes. And uh, as we do this, we can really... Uh, invite many others to also live out the Christian way of life, the Catholic way of life, with the guidance of our pastors, of course. Yes. Uh, and that is what we would like to have a very healthy relationship uh, with, with them as well. So it's important to have a community then. And we have, Amen. Yes, yes. madami tayong communities na pwedeng samahan. And that's gonna make your adventure and your encounter in this life more very, enjoyable. Yes. Uh, very, very effective. Yes. Thank you, oh, yes. Tito Joe. Pasalubong pa pagbalik niya. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anong gusto niyo magbalik ko? <laughs> May two years po kayo okay. para mag-decide kung ano yung mga ano Kidding aside, sobrang excited po ako for your adventure dyan sa Vatican. If you need us, nandito lang kami. Abangan po namin ang inyong mga updates. And yun po. Nico? Yes. Maraming salamat po ulit, Tito. Uh, hindi ito yung ulit yung last na magkakausap tayo. Yes. Malay niyo po si Nico mapunta na sa Vatican in a few months. Ganon. Magigit yeah, ako dito. Yeah, why not? So, ako naman may magpapasalamat sa CBCP yes. for yes. giving me the opportunity to serve uh, as their Rome Bureau Chief. Uh, medyo masarap pakinggan, pero <laughs> hindi ko alam anong... <laughs> Kaya niyo po yan, Tito. Ano talaga niyo pa ako dyan. At sa... Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, Sky, thank you, uh, Dennis, thank you, Monsignor Pepe, thank you to you, Christine, and uh, Nico. Yes, oh, salamat uh, sa pagkatawang ito. Thank you so much. We hope the viewers enjoyed and maraming natutunan dito so sa episode great. ito. We will be back with more. So abangan nyo ang mga susunod pang episodes. Please like the Facebook CBCP News and makita nyo dun yung mga previous interviews namin. Yeah. Again, also, this is Christine Pagirigan. And I am Nico Berbidine. With Tito Zotale from the Vatican. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.